Throwing the BDs and smart toilets to the side, maybe I will cover those in another video. There are essentially two types of toilets you probably encounter throughout your life, residential toilets and commercial toilets. Residential is what most people have in their homes and commercial is what you find at restaurants like McDonald's or your local Sears. When it comes to their homes, most people are buying residential. But why? See the big toilet companies have their stinky grips around your mind when it comes to what you perceive a toilet to be. You go into your local toilet store and you tell them you want a toilet for your home. They're probably only going to show you residential. This pathetic specimen pales in comparison to its commercial counterpart. Commercial toilets, on the other hand, are a whole other breed entirely. I am going to go through the differences and why you should be buying a commercial toilet for your home instead of residential. Commercial toilets are engineered to handle high traffic queues, built with a high degree of durability, stronger materials to handle all those shits and significant waste removal minute by minute. It's like a hungry, hungry hippo. That's why you will typically find them at malls and train stations. They can handle it. It's engineered like a Rolls Royce in the sense. Residential toilets can typically only handle light to moderate use. But what if you're someone like me that actively lives on the toilet and needs the high frequency use because your wife is constantly spiking your food with laxatives? Residential toilets typically use a water tank with some pathetic amount of water that you could barely use to flush or even hydrate yourself for that matter. Whereas a commercial toilet is mainlined directly into the water line, which means it can handle a lot of high volume flushing. Mainlining is good. Look at hardcore heroin users. I'm sure they would prefer to mainline mm, their yummy, heroin. Yummy. Duh. You want to be able to flush a baby down there. Not saying I would, but it's nice to know I have the option. There might be some disadvantages in terms of having a high water bill, but there is no cost too high to flush your sorrows away. Subscribe for more advice.